A piece of Nashville history officially back in business. We're talking about the Acme Feed and Seed Store. It has stood on the corner of First and Broadway downtown since the 1800s, and the historic building was recently restored. Our Chris Cannon is live downtown. Chris, the, the Acme has been a long time in the making, hasn't it? Or the owner of the Acme had envisioned this spot for the last two decades and take a look at it. That vision is now a reality. This is the first floor here, a refined honky tonk of sorts. It is a new restaurant, yes, but make no mistake about it, this was definitely a restoration project. It's not cut again to right there. That had to be a 170 or 80 foot tree to get that center cut out of that. And chess would no longer exist. A beam more than 130 years old holding together a piece of Nashville history. And these are old printing plates from the Worth and Bag building. We made a wall out of these, so that's been kind of cool. The second floor lounge of the Acme Feed and Seed has that history from floor to ceiling. And a guy went in and collected all the printing plates. Actually, they're printing plate molds. This building has been here since 1882. And we wanted to tell a story. It tells its own story. Been vacant since 1994. We didn't want to disturb history. And over the last eight months has been transformed into a four-level entertainment venue at First and Broadway. We, we say we've been feeding friends for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are <were> pets. <laughs> the first floor is a refined honky tonk serving casual gourmet food with, of course, music. It's the hatchery. Yeah. We wanted real Nashville musicians on the stage, uh, give them a platform. And we want to clean bathrooms. And what you see at Acme has most likely been here for more than a century. The bars are all reclaimed subfloor. All the tables are the beams from the floor. Uh, all the beading comes from the ceiling. So there's nothing in that bar that's outside this building that was in any of it. Everything is custom made from this building, all the wood. As impressive as Acme is on the inside, it's even more so outside. A rooftop deck is also part of this restoration, definitely something new for this building. But the main concept of this building was to preserve the history of Nashville, bring people to the riverfront. Like it has since the 1800s, one of the reasons the Acme is on the Federal Historic Registry. There's two buildings, us and the Ryman, on Lower Broadway, so that's pretty significant. Making this more of a restoration project than just a new restaurant on Lower Broadway. Everything here is repurposed or reused. When Morales first looked into buying this building back in the 90s, it was full of nitrate left over from decades of fertilizer at the feed store. Well, that was going to cost him $400,000 to clean up back then. So when he came here this time around, he was expecting that again. But get this, the May 2010 flood washed all that nitrate away, saving him close to a half a million dollars. Now, the first floor is open for business. The upper floors should be open within the next month or so. We are live downtown. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.